was told about her HIV positive status after junior high school, though very tough news for her at the time. Lucy, as we have decided to call her for the purpose of this story, has now completed senior high school and needs support to pursue tertiary education. AC Binawa Oto has the rest of the story. I was shocked. No lie, I was shocked. Learning that I've never had sex, but I'm stuck with a sexual disease for life. I was shocked. I was... Working now, I had thoughts. There were many thoughts running through my mind. Is there a, a ticking time to when I'll die? Or how will I get married? Do I have to tell my friends? How will I move in? Will I always be careful about the way I use stuff? Is it contagious? It was, it was a lot of stuff. The thoughts that run through the mind of a young teenage girl when the news of being HIV positive got to her. Lucy, as I have decided to call her, is 17 years old and an ASHS graduate. Through no fault of hers, she contracted the disease from her mother, someone she has never set eyes on. What affected to mother's child transmission? I don't really know my mom, never met her. I've been staying with relatives for a while, but then later I was moved to a home because it was becoming quite expensive and a little stigmatizing since I'm the only one in the family with this condition. She realized she was constantly taking medication even though she didn't feel sick. I don't know what is happening to me. I don't know. I'm not sick. I'm not on my bed dying or something. So I wasn't really serious with the drugs. But when she told me, then I knew I had to be serious. I knew I had to start taking them seriously on long time. She tells me she lives a life of secrecy. Sometimes I get to hear stories of it, and I can't tell my friends. They can't know. It's something I hide. That's one thing about this. You get to carry a secret around you all the time. It's like, it's sort of like a burden. Though she would have loved to get married, her fears remain a setback. What if I find the one that I really want to be with for the rest of my life? I tell them this, and then they run away and they go and spread it, or they abandon me or something like that. But then it will be really hard telling someone that you want to be with this. It's, it's really difficult. Lucy wants the world to know her status, but she's scared. She hopes to gather courage to embark on advocacy against stigmatization. Her message to adolescents in her situation is simple, stick to your medication. She regrets being stigmatized by some nurses at the hospital. The nurses, when they are talking to you or when they are, are like trying to weigh you or put a thermometer under your arm, the way they act, you can see it's as if it's a disgusting, you don't want to get, yeah, that's how she's acting. It's not all the nurses, but those that you go and meet and the way they will act to you. Lucy needs support to further her education and not to burden people. I've applied for an institution, however, I don't know how I'll be able to go in case I'm admitted. So that's the challenge at the moment. Now that's my only focus. You know? how I'll be able to buy my stuff and get ready for school and all and pay the school fees. Right now, that is the major. I've surpassed all other challenges from senior high school and all that. But this is the biggest challenge I'm facing at the moment, and I have a few months left to prepare myself. She therefore called for much attention to be given orphans living with HIV. I'd really like for NGOs or other governmental bodies to really aid and develop the place for us as well as find other means of provision because food is really essential. We have young, the youngest are two, three year olds and they like, they have to eat in order to take their medication because at the moment the numbers are increasing and the space is becoming a little bit scarce for. Adolescents form about 28% of the Ghanaian population infected by HIV. In 2017, 1,950 female adolescents were infected. Currently, about 19,000 adolescents in the country are HIV positive, acquired through various means. Adolescents form about 28% of the total Ghanaian population. And we realize that some of them get HIV either through mother-to-child transmission or some of them undergo unprotected sex 
or even um, having sex with their peers. Then there's gender-based violence. Some of them are also raped. She explains why female adolescents are at a higher risk. The females having sex with older men, where they can't even negotiate, you know, they are not empowered to speak for themselves, to control, to take decisions about their sexual and reproductive health. Biologically, when you have sex, the semen can stay in the woman for up to three days. So once the, you had sex with an infected person, there's a lot of time for, for the HIV in the semen to seep into the body of the female. Though there are ongoing intervention programs, more efforts are required to fight the spread of HIV. The issue is everywhere, so we should all be concerned. And let's all work at it. It is possible to bring it to the level where it is no longer of public health significance. We'll stop even talking about it. If only we avoid stigma. When much attention and support is given to adolescents, reducing the spread of HIV and AIDS will become a reality. AC Benewa Otu, TV3 News, Accra.